What's up people, this is Soul Deity, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to rip Zelda 64 models using my new Blender import script. Um, I'll be showing you how to rip the object Link Boy from the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest debug ROM. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is extract our ROM. I use ZRE because sometimes DZRT corrupts ROMs depending on which ROM you're extracting and whether or not it's compressed. And uh, so let's first let's find our object Link Boy. Computer's lagging. Open Blender. Now I'm assuming you already have the import script installed. I'm not going to go through that. That's common Blender knowledge. Now if you look on the left side before you import, you'll see there's import options. You can choose a vertex mode, which is none, or you can use normals or colors. Um, normals is shading, colors is obviously using the vertex colors, and none is using neither. Um, you can load data from other segments. Um, Disable matrices, which are used to fill joints. Disable primitive and environment colors. Invert the environment color as a fix for fierce deity. Um, exporting textures, importing textures, um, texture clamping and mirroring. Tune UVs, which is basically just turning off the scaling so it looks toony. Anyway, once you import it, you'll see it's already pre-rigged. You can uh, start posing it the second you import it. But we have some problems here, right? Our textures are messed up, you know, so... But that's not because it can't load them, it's because they're in different segments. So I'm going to show you how to get those other segments to show up so you get all the textures. Now the first thing we want to get, his hair and his tunic are in the gameplay key. So we're going to look for gameplay key. And we're going to want to rename this to segment04.zdata and place it in the same folder as where your model is at. Now we're going to re-import it. And now you see he has his tunic and his hair. But, still no face. And that's because they're in uh, two other segments. They're after specific segments 8 and 9. And uh, I'm going to show you how to rip those. Now the first thing we want to do is you want to open your emulator. Make sure you're using the Rice's video plugin. Open your ROM. <clears throat> Go to your options, graphics plugin, general options. Make sure you have hide advanced un options unchecked, and then go to your texture filters and dump textures to files. to this screen if you press B and then press A you'll start off as an adult in Hyrule Field. Take this out. And we're gonna go to our uh, plugin, graphics, texture dump, Legend of Zelda, CI BMP folder. His, uh, his eyes and his mouth are CI textures. Alright, so here's his mouth. And here's his eyes. Now, um, BMP textures are store their data upside down, and the game stores them upside up, so you're going to have to flip these before you can use them as segments. <coughs> you can use any in image editor you want, just as long as it doesn't rearrange the palette or compress the data or anything, because you want to make sure it stays the pretty much the same exact format. So I'll move that. Image, transform, move vertically, over right, and we can close that out. Now if you open it up in a hex editor, um, you'll see the sprite right here at 0x0a. See at offset a, you'll see the byte that says 7a. That's the, uh, the size of the header. So you want to skip that many bytes. So now you're right here, and since the palette is 256 colors, and each color is 4 bytes in size, we do 50, 256 times 4, and that's how many bytes we'll need to, to skip from here. So, um, skip 400 bytes, and then here's where our actual texture data is, so we're going to copy everything here, 
And since this is mouth, we're going to save this as segment 09.zdata. And we're going to open up his eyes. Skip 7a. Skip 400. Grab this. And his eyes are segment 08. Alright, so now we're going to try re-importing our uh, model and watch what happens. Put him in the position. And uh, just as a little tip, if you rotate any bone in, in the model's body by just like, by, uh, by 90 degrees or 180 degrees, you'll always get him into a T-pose, I, I guarantee it. I mean, there's very few models that are an exception to that, which are um, like Ganondorf and whatnot, and that's only because they have weird bone poses. But um, as you can see now, we've got all our textures fixed, and we've got a perfectly imported link. But now I'm going to show you what the extra options are. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is the uh, the colors because you know some other tools try and import uh, import the vertices through colors, and uh, you know just showing you how this works. Actually, let's turn off texturing for this. And there's a link rendered with colors only, no textures. See, uh, it's pretty goofy looking though. You probably wouldn't want to use that for anything, but you know, maybe you want to look, see what the normals are, have a better idea what they look like. But um, the normals that I use, Blender can't actually import normals. So what I do is I kind of do like a little workaround, a little bit of a hack. Um, I convert the colors into a grayscale, and I uh, convert the normals into a grayscale color, and then use those for the vertex colors. So if I set that to normal, and then port them, you'll see what I'm talking about here. You'll notice that the, the tunic's still green, that's because I have primitive colors enabled. If you don't want the the primitive colors, you can just you can turn those off too. But that's how the shading works. You'll see the shading looks really good. But um let's go back here and uh just leave that in normal. Let's turn off our primitive color and our environment color and reload the model. And now you can see, you know, it's just full on shading. There's no textures, no colors, just the shading like you would see it in the game. And that's what's used to light everything and get that nice smooth look. But, um, you know, if you're wondering what would happen if you turned it off, this is what it looks like without shading. And I think we'll all agree here that it does look best with shading. Oh, derp. Go back here. Import our textures. Right. Yeah, I think we can all agree here that it does look, you know, best with shading because it kind of gets you that, you know, the lighting effect that you need to get, you know, give a better depth. But, um, you know, just so it's, you know, I'm not seeing the colors, we're going to go ahead and enable the primitive colors again just for a better look. But yeah, you can see that if you don't use shading that it just comes out really, really bright. And it's, it's almost a little bit ugly when you look at it. It's, it's always best to use the shading. I, I, you know, I suggest it. But uh, anyway, thanks for.